Welcome along. We begin our roundup of week 28 at the Stade Joffre Guichard, where Lille edged Saint Etienne on Sunday to tighten their grip on second place. The only goal arriving in the 87th minute of the game, courtesy of Nicola Pepe, his 17th of the campaign. Lille remained 14 points adrift of PSG, who weren't in action this weekend, but they are now seven points clear of Lyon in the battle to finish second. Well, that's after Lyon squandered a 2-0 lead to draw with Strasbourg. Bruno Genesio's side getting off to the perfect start. They took the lead through Moussa Dembele on just three minutes after a mistake from Lamin Kone. The unfortunate Kone then conceded a penalty early in the second half as he brought down Hussein Awa. Dembele doing the honours to make it 11 goals for the campaign. That's now four for him in just two outings. But Strasbourg turned things around in the space of two minutes. Adrian Thomasson's header going in off Ludovic Ajork, who didn't know too much about it. But he knew plenty about the second goal just a minute later, providing a brilliant finish for his sixth of the campaign. 2-2 as Leon dropped two potentially vital points. They'll now prepare for Wednesday's Champions League trip to Barcelona. Marseille close to within just three points of Lyon as they ground out a 1-0 win over Nice. The game's only goal coming courtesy of Mario Balotelli, who else against his former side. The Italian didn't score at all in ten games for Nice this season, but he's now up to five goals in seven for Marseille. After nodding in a cross there from Lucas Acampos. Rock beats scissors, which beats paper, which beats rock. And at the moment Balotelli's beating Ligue 1 Conferama defences for fun. Ras missed a golden opportunity to keep pace with the top four as they were frustrated by Dijon, who had Senu Koulibaly sent off on just three minutes. Abazanelli gave Ras the lead on nine minutes, his second goal since arriving in January. Great work from Boudaidea in the build-up. But Dijon hit back only four minutes later, the unfortunate Thomas Fouquet conceding a penalty for handball for the second week running. The referee taking a second look on the VAR before pointing to the spot. Naim Sleety making no mistake. Dijon then holding on to rescue an improbable one-all draw. Montpellier were celebrating their 1,000th league and Conferama outing against Angers on Sunday and they made a dream start as Gaëtan Laborde teed up Andy Delors on just three minutes, his 10th of the campaign. Elias Shakiri doubled their advantage soon afterwards, pouncing on a loose ball in the Angers box to grab his second of the season. 2-0 with 16 minutes gone. Funnily enough, it wasn't until they were down to 10 men that Angers finally hit back. After Matteo Pavlovic's dismissal, substitute Angelo Fulgini finished off a slick team move. Fulgini then slipped a glorious ball through to Stefan Bauerken in the 91st minute as party poopers Angers rescued a point. 2-2, the final score. Three days after their superb Europa League winner for Arsenal, Rennes claimed another 3-1 victory, this time at the expense of Caen. Though it was the visitors who went ahead on 20 minutes. Casimir Ninger opening the scoring for the second week running after his strike against PSG last Saturday. But four minutes after Caen had Yoel Armagom sent off, Rennes equalised. Benjamin Bourigeau curling in a delightful free kick after his missile against the Gunners. The Brittany side then made sure of the three points with two goals in the space of four second half minutes. The excellent Ismail Assar getting both assists. The Senegal winger first setting up Adrian Hunu and then his international teammate Umbai Nyang as it finished 3-1. Ran out up to eighth place before Thursday's big trip to the Emirates. Amiens boosted their survival hopes as they claimed a third consecutive home win against Nîmes. Sarah Gurassi doing brilliantly to get away from Feitu Moasa and fire in the opener on 49 minutes. His second goal since arriving on loan from Cologne in January. Nîmes hit back just four minutes later. Rashid Aliwi, who scored a brace in the reverse fixture, getting there just ahead of Regis Gertner. But Amiens had the final word. Musa Kanate sending in a perfect ball for Eric Peters. The Dutchman's first Ligue 1 Conferama goal sealing a 2-1 win. And Amiens are now seven points clear of the relegation playoff place. Monaco slipping a point behind Amiens after being held at home to Bordeaux. Radamel Falca marked his 100th Ligue 1 Conferama appearance with a 60-second goal in the French top flight, giving Monaco the lead on 48 minutes. But the Colombian then conceded a penalty just after the hour 
after he was adjudged to have handled in the area. Jimmy Brion converting as the Girondin with future boss Paolo Sosa looking on, rescued a one-all draw. Toulouse finally claimed their first home win since August the 25th as they overcame 10-man Gangon at the stadium. Yaya Sonogo getting the only goal of the game on 20 minutes after a neat one-two with Manuel Garcia, the former Arsenal man with his third of the campaign as Toulouse moved 10 points clear of the relegation playoff place. To all of the results from week 28 with 22 goals scored, four draws and important 1-0 wins at both ends of the table for Lille, Marseille and Toulouse. The game between Nantes and PSG has been postponed after a request from the Nantes Prefecture. Pepe's late winner at Saint-Étienne leaves Lille seven points clear of Lyon. Bruno Genesio's side now looking over their shoulder with Marseille only three points further back. European battles hotting up nicely, only three points separating Reims in fifth and Nice in ninth. At the other end, there are just two points between the bottom three, Dijon, Caen and Gangor. Amiens and Monaco with a little bit of breathing room, while Toulouse's long-awaited home win has pushed them closer to safety. Two games to come next Friday, with Nice hosting Toulouse and Lille entertaining Monaco. Lyon welcome Montpellier on Saturday, three days after travelling to Barca, while on Sunday, all eyes will be on the Classic between PSG and Marseille.